A group of farmers decide to kill the wolves that have been attacking their flock of sheep. Despite their efforts, they only find one wolf, which one of the farmers kills, with one of the wolf's babies watching. Elsewhere, a surgeon named Stephen arrives at his new country house with his daughter Vicky. Despite being excited to show her their new house, Stephen notices that Vicky looks sad. While unpacking, he goes to her room and tries to lift her mood by telling her to read her favorite book. However, she doesn't seem interested. As he opens the window to show her the view, Vicky sees her uncle Terry heading for the house in his car. As Vicky runs to see him, he looks happy to see her as well. Stephen also shows up and says he didn't expect him to visit them so early. However, Terry says he needed to come and check out their new place. As Terry admires the house, Stephen says it's his late parents' place and no one has lived there for a while. Later that night, while watching Vicky take a nap, Terry asks Stephen how she's been doing since her mother passed. Stephen says she still listens to her mother's playlist and hasn't talked to him yet. He then asks Terry if he thinks it is a good idea to bring Vicky with him to the new house. Terry jokes about it being a bad decision because there are only a few people in the town and bears could be around too. When Stephen tries to blame himself for everything that happened to his wife, and now Vicky, Terry tells him not to be too hard on himself. He also says he's sure things will get better. Before he leaves that night, Terry also tells Stephen that he doesn't have to bother himself about whether he made the right decision. He says as long as he's doing what's best for Vicky, then it's fine. They then greet each other goodbye, and Terry drives away. In the morning, as Stephen is working on his car, he starts telling Vicky that they can go out later for a walk so they can check out the town. As he keeps talking, Vicky walks away, and when he realizes she's not outside again, he looks worried. He then goes in and tries to convince her to join him on his walk around the town, but she remains mute and doesn't give him an answer. When he sees that she's not interested, he heads out alone. However, as he's putting on his hiking boots, she comes out with her bag and boots, looking ready to follow him, though she doesn't say a word. They soon start walking around until they stop at the top of a hill. Stephen says he and her mom used to come up to the hill a lot. As he then talks about the things they did while hiking, he suddenly goes silent. Vicky realizes that the memories on the hill made him sad, and she hugs him. They soon continue moving again, until Stephen mentions that they might be lost. He tries to use his map to find their way back, but this doesn't work. They eventually see a house and decide to go closer to ask for help. The house belongs to a man named Bruno, who is walking around his compound. Immediately, Stephen sees him. He asks for help, saying he and his daughter are lost. Bruno offers them drinking water, and just after taking a sip, Vicky stands up to walk around. As she gets close to a donkey, Bruno tells her she's free to look around, after which she goes forward to touch the animal. Stephen asks if it's safe, and Bruno says the only danger in the town is the people and not the animals. As Stephen then walks away to wash his hands, Vicky sees a baby wolf inside a box. She looks very interested in it, and when Bruno meets her there, she speaks for the first time and asks if the wolf has a name. Bruno calls it Mystery, and Vicky continues talking, seemingly introducing herself to the wolf. As Bruno sees that she really likes it, he carries the wolf out of the box and says, Mystery is really special. He then hands over Mystery to her, calling it a gift from the forest. Shortly after, Bruno drives Vicky and Stephen home. When Vicky gets to her room, she immediately brings Mystery out of her bag and continues to touch her new pet gently. Suddenly, she hears Stephen calling her and immediately runs to hide Mystery inside a box. By the time Stephen opens the door, Vicky pretends to be sitting quietly on her bed after successfully hiding the wolf. Stephen tells her to come for dinner, and as they leave the room, Mystery comes out of the box and starts moving around the room. In the morning, after packing her bag for school, Vicky hides Mystery in a basket inside her locker and tells him that Stephen can't know he's around. She then leaves for school with Stephen, and as they get there, Vicky asks him about something he says. Stephen initially tells her to forget it, but he realizes that she just spoke to him. He tells her to repeat what she said, and he looks genuinely excited as he hears her say it several times. Shortly after, the school principal, Mr. Darmot, comes over to welcome Vicky to the school. As Darmot talks with Stephen and Vicky, one of the kids in the school shoots a toy gun at him, and he has to leave to chase the kid around. Stephen then faces Vicky and tells her he'll come back to pick her up after school. As he watches her walk to her class, Stephen continues to look happy that his daughter is now talking again. Meanwhile, a woman named Anna hurries her son to enter the school. She catches Stephen looking at her and tells him not to judge her as a bad mother. 
However, Stephen says he wasn't doing that. Anna then blames her ex-husband for her lateness, saying he was supposed to come with her on their son's first day at school, but he chose to do other unreasonable things. She then asks Stephen for his wife, and he tells her she's deceased. Anna thinks he's joking, and she laughs about it being a good excuse. However, Stephen says his wife is actually dead, and Anna feels sorry for him. She also says sorry for initially joking about it, but Stephen says he's not too bothered. Back at home, Mystery has gotten out of Vicky's locker and is now scattering her toys and making a mess. Later that day, when Stephen arrives home with Vicky after school, she just runs inside, even while he tells her that she forgot to take her bag with her. Stephen then receives a call from Terry. After he tells Terry that Vicky is now talking to him, Terry sounds happy to hear this. Even though Stephen says it's slow progress, he adds that he's relieved to finally hear her speak. Meanwhile, Vicky is showing her toys to Mystery, and shortly after, she has to hide him under the bed when Stephen comes over to get her dirty laundry. After he gets it, he also looks around and finds a really smelly cloth. As he returns to ask what she did with the cloth, he sees Mystery. He thinks it is a dog and asks what it is doing in her room. Vicky explains that Bruno gave it to her and she would like to keep it. Stephen doesn't say anything and just keeps looking at Mystery. Soon after, while they're outside, Stephen asks more questions about what Bruno said before giving her the dog. Vicky answers him, after which she says, Mystery needs a family. With this, Stephen agrees that she can keep Mystery, and Vicky looks very happy. Days later, Vicky starts playing around with Mystery, and to make her happy, Stephen gets her a leash and collar for her new pet. Vicky appreciates this, and the next day in school, she talks about Mystery in class, with the other children sounding curious. A while later, Stephen also starts making a small kennel for Mystery. The next day at school, Vicky brings Mystery with her, but she hands him over to Stephen when she's about to head for her class. Anna has also just dropped off her kid, and as she sees Mystery, she can't help but admire him. She asks Stephen where he got Mystery, and he says it's a long story. Anna also asks about Mystery's breed, but Stephen says he knows nothing about dogs. Anna then mentions that Mystery has big paws, which might be something to worry about. As she's about to leave, Stephen stops her and asks if she knows about dogs. She says she does because she works in conservation and tells Stephen to bring the dog later for vaccination. On his way home, Stephen sees a group of farmers protesting against wolves in the town. Just as he continues driving away, a man named Paul gives him a flyer and sees mystery in the car. The next day, Terry comes to visit and sees how lively Vicky looks. He tells Stephen that she looks like a completely different person, and Stephen says she has been like that and doesn't even have nightmares about her mom since Mystery came into their lives. However, he says Mystery has big paws and hopes he doesn't turn into a really big dog. Terry says Mystery doesn't look like a dangerous breed, and he's likely a husky. Shortly after, Vicky brings Mystery outside to play, and Terry joins in, after which they have dinner together. After dinner, Terry and Stephen sit down to talk about his late wife, Stephen says he still thinks he should have been around to perform the surgery for her, but Terry again tells him that even though he's a really good surgeon, he shouldn't be too hard on himself. The next day, while loading his shopping bags into his car, Stephen sees Anna, who asks why he didn't eventually bring Mystery to see her. Stephen says he took Mystery to another vet, and he was told that the dog is a husky. Anna looks surprised and asks if he really saw a vet, but Stephen confesses that his friend was the one who told him. She then takes a look at Mystery's teeth and says he doesn't look like a dog, and if he's not a dog, then he's a wolf. Stephen disagrees with this and immediately decides to leave. However, Anna tries to stop him, saying she understands how important Mystery is to Vicky. Stephen doesn't listen to her and just angrily leaves. Later that day, Paul finds wolf poop and paw prints on his farm. As he and his colleague then lead their sheep away to safety, it turns out there's another wolf around. Shortly after, Stephen finishes with the small kennel and tells Vicky that he made it for mystery so he doesn't have to sleep in her room anymore. As they're talking, they see Paul drive really close to the house as if he's looking for something. However, he soon drives away and Stephen says he likely got lost. That night, Stephen stops Vicky from taking mystery into her room. She doesn't look so happy with this, but Stephen says Mystery is now too big to stay inside, and he must be outside in the kennel. As he's still trying to convince her, Mystery comes into the room to play with Vicky, 
and Stephen has no choice but to let him stay. The next day, Terry comes around again, and he joins Stephen on a hiking trip with Vicky and Mystery. While the two men are talking, Mystery keeps running fast, and Vicky can't keep up. As they try to find Mystery, they see an older wolf. Stephen gets Vicky away from it, and suddenly, Mystery shows up and stares at the other wolf for a while. Shortly after, the older wolf walks away, and Mystery goes back to meet Vicky. When they're back in the car, Stephen complains to Terry about how he called Mystery a husky. Terry says he's not an expert, and he only guessed. To find out more, they head over to Anna's office. After a few tests, Anna returns to tell Stephen that Mystery is a purebred wolf, and he needs to be taken to a reserve. Stephen says he doesn't really mind keeping Mystery, but Anna says the farmers in the town won't like that. He eventually manages to convince Anna to let him take Mystery home for the night, and Terry also heads home from there. The next day, Stephen tells Vicky that Mystery can use the workshop in the house as a bigger kennel. Meanwhile, the other wolf attacks Paul's flock of sheep. Shortly after, Stephen comes over to get Vicky ready to head to school for a Halloween play. As they're about to leave, Paul arrives and says he's only going around to check farms. He tells them there's a wolf in the woods, and it killed two of his sheep. Stephen feels sorry for him, and Paul tells him to keep any animals he has locked up well for safety. Stephen tells him that he doesn't have any animals, but Paul asks about the dog he saw the other day. Stephen says he no longer has it, after which he tells Paul that he has to leave. While at the Halloween play at Vicky's school, Paul and a fellow farmer return to Stephen's house to check around, and they soon find mystery. At the school, Anna gets a call informing her of their discovery, while giving Stephen a disappointed look. Later that day, mystery is taken away, and Vicky is unhappy, and also blames Stephen for it. That night, Vicky has a nightmare about her late mom for the first time in weeks, and Stephen has to comfort her. The next day, Terry visits them and notices how bad things have gotten, with Vicky leaving the dinner table and not touching her food. Because of this, Stephen takes Vicky to a meeting between the farmers and animal care officers. When he gets there, he tells them he only brought his daughter so she can understand what's going on. However, the meeting ends with Paul getting really angry that the authorities don't want to do anything about their wolf problem. As he leaves angrily, Anna tells Stephen that Paul can't be blamed for how he reacted because he has lost a lot of animals due to wolf attacks. The next day, while having classes with Mr. Darmot, Vicky suddenly feels the urge to go outside. After she asks for permission from Mr. Darmot, she heads outside and sees Mystery. She then follows Mystery as he keeps taking her deep into the woods. Elsewhere, Anna meets Stephen and Terry at a coffee shop to inform them that Mystery escaped from the reserve. She asks Stephen to confirm Vicky's whereabouts because Mystery might look for her first. After making a call to Mr. Darmot, Stephen gets to know that Vicky is no longer with him. He then sets out to start searching for her in the woods. After a while, he sees Mystery and follows him to locate Vicky, who is already weak and feeling really cold. Stephen immediately carries Vicky to take her home, but the fog gets thicker and he stops by Bruno's house. Bruno is happy to help and allows them to stay for the night. The next morning, Terry and Anna meet them there, and while they're having breakfast, Stephen asks Vicky why she ran off with Mystery. She says she needed to take him where he'd be safe, but she failed. As she looks really sad, Bruno gives his opinion on the farmer's decision to kill the wolves, saying it won't solve their problems. A while later, Vicky goes outside, and Stephen meets her there. She then tells him that she knows Mystery will come back for her. Stephen says it's likely that Mystery has returned to his family, but shortly after, Mystery actually shows up. However, Paul and another farmer are with guns and looking ready to kill any wolf they see. As Vicky runs to meet Mystery, Paul sees the wolf and shoots him. As soon as he realizes that Vicky is there, Paul regrets his actions. Meanwhile, Vicky is terrified and immediately runs to hold Mystery. Stephen is also really angry and punches Paul because he could have killed Vicky. Terry and Anna also run outside, and as they decide what to do to save Mystery, Stephen says he can remove the bullet and perform the surgery inside the house. Everything goes well, and Stephen brings the good news to Vicky that Mystery is fine. Days later, Anna receives the official authorization documents for where Mystery will now be staying. Anna then asks Vicky about Mystery's health, since she's now looking after the wolf. She says Mystery is doing well, though he's not fully recovered. Anna then asks if Vicky is ready to let go of him, and she says she is. The next day, Anna and Stephen take Vicky to where she'll drop off Mystery. She tells Mystery she'll never forget him, even though it's time to let him go. 
She takes off Mystery's leash and collar and tells him to go and meet his family. After this, Stephen goes to meet her and asks if she's all right. Vicky tells him she's fine and then asks if they can go home, after which Stephen nods and they leave. 